we're back here and we're we've got a few more things left to do on this guy and we're, we're getting pretty close to having him finished I took a few moments just to go around and make sure I didn't have any saw marks on the front of the face I still got a few on the back so we'll work on that clean that up and then we're going to see if we can get some eye out of this fella I don't like the big bulbous shape of the nose so what I want to do is kind of give myself a little bit of shape like that so I'm just going to turn him upside down and I'm just going to do that roll cut that we did earlier in a video as I cut in I start to curve my knife a roll cut makes it easier and this flexible knife does it makes it easy for me to shape that nose I don't know what if there's a nose shape if there's a name for him but uh, now he's got a little bit of a different shape to the nose but now I've got to go shape a few other parts of the nose slim those down so they don't stick out more prominently than the part that we were doing okay he's got a weird square bulldog nose I don't know that we necessarily want but there we are all right we want to do this eye what we've got is a generic shape for an eye generic shape here we're just going to give it to him now the way I carve eyes is I'm going to take the point of my knife sharp pointed knife go deep in here as I pull across I come almost all the way out and then go deep in here as well because if this eye is rounded it's rounded this way it's rounded this way but then it's also going to be rounded this way and it's going to be rounded this way so if you if you project that there's an eyeball in there it's actually about this size right here we're only going to show part of that because of the way the eyelids overlap it so we're going to go deep in there and you can see how deep I'm, I'm in there we're probably in about an eighth of an inch or more as I go across the knife, across the wood I lay the knife down a little bit more to come across the bottom of the eyelid so that when I get out here I'm almost done I'm almost completely out and then I'll just lift the knife up and make another deep indentation there as I go on the front of the eyeball I'm going to find that deep hole stay about that deep again all the way up to the top from there I'm not quite as deep but I'll follow around on my lines and then be deep in the corner again and so I'll go to that outside corner with the very tip of my knife take out that chip right there and you can see right there how the eye rolls down into that corner so if you project it being rounded it's going to be rounded all the way around the eye mound so that little chip is out back there we'll do the same thing to the front corner chip there chip there Sometimes I have to do it twice. And you can see how it's rounded down in there. We'll take a little bit more out as we go along. But we can round this all from corner to corner. I'll take a little bit off of that top part. A little slip. I'll do the same to the bottom. And this eye is basically done except for getting rid of this ridge right there you can see that ridge that's what we need to we need to slim down because when you go to paint it that's going to stand out really really starkly so we'll take it off a little bit at a time going up if that does it we can stop there and if that doesn't then we have to do some more can't get down in this corner from out there so I'm going to flip it over upside down now I've moved that ridge down a little bit more so I'm going to take my sharp pointed flexible knife, get a little more in there, a little more right there. I want to deepen that corner just a little bit more. And then I'll reshape that straight line right there. I don't like it real sharp. So I'm going to just come around and take out that chip and now what I've got to do is take off that line right there I don't like that line right there so I'm just take my knife and lay it almost flat making sure the point of that knife doesn't go up into the eyeball 
and I'll just take that off and it softens that bottom eyelid. Now one of the things we've got to realize is that as we come over here, the bottom eyelid fits under the top one. So we'll make a little cut right there and we'll remove that little chip right there. And it makes it look like, once we clean it all up, makes it look like the bottom eyelid is under the top one like it's supposed to be. And then we have that corner chip out here and out there and round it down into there. And that's not a bad looking eye. You can see it rounded from top to bottom and side to side. Okay, I'm going to grab a V tool. I don't have a small one, so I'm actually going to do it with a knife. That line right there is my eyelid. We want it to reflect the shape of the eyeball. So I'm going to go fairly deep in that corner and just follow that around about the same depth all along that line I just carved. And so I'm going in perpendicular to the wood and then I'm going to go in at an angle, probably about a 45 degree angle. Take out that chip. See that eyelid right there? Take out another chip right there. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to take out this other chip right there. I want to go a little deeper into the bridge of the nose and do that. And that's not a bad little eye. I've seen worse that I've done and I've seen better that I've done, but on this one I think I'll take it. Not too bad. Check my time here. And we're back doing we're okay. We got a few more minutes. Okay. And other than the detail, this guy's just about done. We can put in a an eye bag here, and I'm gonna take a small gouge like this one and what I'm going to do is start out here and I'm going to go right up into that start up under the top eyelid and just shallowly I don't need to make it real deep I can if I want to but I don't want to right now I'm going to make sure it fits so I'm going all the way up into that eye then I'll take a knife and just do a shallow v cut or a shallow stop cut right in there and then I'll take off this ridge on the bottom. And with a smaller V-tool, I can make some scratch cuts in there to make it look like he is wrinkled up in there. Okay, let's also take that small, v, small gouge and we'll add smaller detail on the eyebrow. Just want to add a few more things in here that kind of cross cut what we had already cut. Make a few more. And give that eyebrow some kind of shape. We'll, we'll put a little bit more down here on the bottom. Get rid of that ridge right there. And we'll do the same thing to the hair because we've got a big gouge that we use for making hair shape and get it allowed us to get rid of those saw marks. But what we want to do is just kind of randomly spacing the width, spacing the thickness, just make sideburn hair. We'll clean it up in a little bit with the V tool on our next video. Just go ahead and play around with his hair and make it just have some fun with it. We'll do that all the way around. Clean that up for the next video and you'll be ready to go with this fella and we'll finish up the last little details. See you on the next video.